This is Video Insights, a new series by Freiraum showcasing the people and products behind a selection of their brands. I'm Eliza Edwards, a Berlin-based journalist with a focus on environmental and ethical design. During this series, I'll be investigating the role sustainability plays in each of these brands' DNA. Beautiful shirts made from dead stock hotel sheets are sure to challenge our preconceived ideas surrounding fashion. Archivist Studio is a Berlin, Amsterdam-based brand that sources high-quality fabrics from hotels and transforms the exquisite materials that would otherwise be thrown away into elegant, adaptable pieces. I'm joined today in the Freiraum space by co-founder Eugenie. Eugenie, thank you so much for joining me today in the Freiraum space. How are you doing? I'm really good, thanks. I'm actually super happy to be in Berlin again uh, after a couple of months in Amsterdam. For someone who's not familiar with the Archivist concept, how would you explain it to them? So what we do with Archivist is we take the sheets from luxury hotels and we turn it into clothing. So this, for instance, the shirt that I'm wearing okay. was um, a bed sheet from a luxury hotel in London. Creating shirts out of hotel sheets is a really unique idea. How did you arrive at that concept? Um, I was, I'm, I've always been quite passionate about upcycling. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been following many different brands that do it. And I think I came to the point of contacting hotels was when I found out about this brand that upcycles um, the outer material of trucks and they turn it into bags. So like the thick, waterproof exactly. material that you pull over, okay. Yeah, and uh, it's ideal because um, it's really large surfaces mm. and so it's easier for them to source. And mm. for instance, if you would go to a vintage store and you had to find uh, shirt t-shirts to upcycle. And so that's when I felt, okay, uh, hotel sheets are big surfaces and there's probably a lot of waste there. So maybe this is something we can do. And so you went to the hotel and you got all the material and then you created these shirts. What was the reaction of people when you presented them with the Archivist product? Um, so I, typically there, there were two types of reactions and I have to say, I don't get the, the second reaction anymore. So first reaction is, oh great, love it, uh, positive. And the second was, ew, because people could, these people could not imagine. So interesting. Yeah, yeah. wearing something which mm was used as a hotel sheet before. Um, but as I said, this uh, has completely changed. I nev never get that reaction anymore. And also the people that had this reaction, there were either people that would never buy vintage, mm -hmm. and or I would ask them, um, if you sleep in a hotel bed, do you find it dirty? And then they would realize and be like, oh no, of course not. Yeah. And that's a conversation that you and I had at the beginning of Archivist, where I could understand people's reaction of, oh, other people have slept in these sheets. But every time you go to an Airbnb or every time you're in a hotel, you sleep in in your most vulnerable form in a bed with those sheets. Exactly. Um, so it, it makes so much sense. Do you think that people's approach to consumption has changed over the last few months? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think people have become very aware of their uh, consumption patterns. Mm -hmm. um, people have been cleaning out their houses uh, and just have been able to see how much stuff they don't use, they don't wear, uh, and how much waste that creates. Uh, and so, yeah, I think the past months have been uh, have been quite important for sustainability. To that's not the right thing to say. It's it's, it's not. It's increased awareness. I think. It's increased awareness mm. um, about sustainability. Mm. Yeah. I think it's so, and it's so interesting that for many people, this time was very difficult. And you know many brands and companies have suffered under the, over the last few months. But for you guys, from the sounds of it, it's been very busy. And I guess, of course, it's been difficult. But also, that's a good thing. Your first designs were very feminine. They had frills here and puffy sleeves. And now you're making more classical shirts that can be worn by men and women. How does the manufacturing process work from start to finish? So um, it starts with the design. Uh, Johannes, my co-founder, he is a fashion designer. He studied uh, in Arnhem, the Artes Academ Academ Academy. Um, and um, so he has been thoroughly researching how shirts are, like how high quality shirts are made and even how you can improve the quality, how you can um, 
just uh, increase durability of of a shirt mm -hmm. uh, and obviously um, he has wanted to design something which is very timeless and elegant and can fit into any any occasion and so that's how we turn out uh, that's why we decided to focus on shirts mm -hmm. and so how it's produced um, so the sheets get sent um, to our producer in near Bucharest mm -hmm. so we have we're working with the family run atelier there and they receive the sheets they wash them iron them cut them assemble them fold them and then send us to us to the Netherlands as a young brand of today what do you think your primary responsibilities are given the current climate yeah as a young brand um, it's important to have well, your sustainability um, focus, mm -hmm. obviously, mm -hmm. well, in, in my eyes. And then you can kind of choose, I think, which direction you're going for. Mm -hmm. It can either be, um, well, obviously, you want to, we want to do everything right. Mm -hmm. But if you can choose at least one of these topics, like either uh, that it's responsibly produced or either that it's um, upcycled, recycled, that I think is a, is, is a responsibility young brands have to take. And then for us specifically, if you ask me what I, what I think about this, for us, what we want to take as a goal is to scale our business and try to bring our prices down so that we can reach a bigger target audience and can be just more available for everyone. Yeah. Eugenie, thank you so much for your time. I'm so excited to see where this goes. Thank you. Thank you for having me.